All right. Well, you know what? It's a beautiful day in the mother city and with the sun shining and everyone smiling. We're all just looking for a way to celebrate life because life is beautiful. So one great way to do this uh, with maybe friends and family is a high tea at one of Joburg's most whimsical eateries. And they do high tea like no other. A famous saying goes, you can't have your cake and eat it. Well, that's definitely not the case here today because who doesn't like dressing up and enjoying a cup of tea paired with some mouth-watering pastries while mingling with friends and family? Sounds like the perfect plan, right? Especially with the holiday seasons just around the corner. Afternoon or high tea became fashionable in British households in the early 19th century. This quaint English dining custom is a staple in hotels, patisseries and cafes in many countries and Hemingway's in Joburg takes high tea to another level. All right, so Jonathan, tell me why are high tea such a great way to socialize? High teas allow you the opportunity to sit and mingle with your friends, take a bit of time out and try a whole lot of our delectable treats, including our cakes and the various treats we put on the table. And why did you decide to go with the theme Alice in Wonderland today? Well, Cafe Hemingway's is named after a literary person, obviously being Hemingway himself. And on the basis of that, we decided to make various high teas that are named after books and characters. And the Alice in Wonderland is a very colorful, fun theme for summer. A high tea menu typically has some savory items, but it's the sweets everybody loves. From red velvet cake to an indulgent chocolate and vanilla cake topped with caramel popcorn, the Alice in Wonderland menu is a fantastic feast for the senses. When I'm mixing my cakes, I make sure that I concentrate and I don't over mix my cakes. And when I bake them, I don't over bake them also. And the other thing, when you weigh your stuff, make sure you weigh it properly, because like, Baking is like science, so like cooking. So make sure that when you're weighing your stuff, everything is perfect and all the ingredients are perfect and you measure properly. Then you won't make any mistake when baking. For the guests, a high tea is a taste of pure decadence and sparks the imagination of bygone eras where glamour, fantasy and romance were part of everyday life. The more sweet and sugar and cream and fresh fruit and champagne. That makes a great high tea. The decadence that comes with it. I love sharing food. Take a little bit here and take a little bit there. High tea is best enjoyed with family and friends, but it's an occasion for lively conversation. These guests revealed special people they'd love to invite to a high tea. Salvador Dali. Definitely be Hemingway. I'd have to say Winston Churchill. I'm a bit of a historian, so I like that. You would love this craziness and madness on this table. A Movable Feast is my favorite book in the entire world. I've done the Hemingway Walk in Paris. I just, I love literature, I love Hemingway. A high tea type event is perfect for birthdays, bridal showers and other festive occasions, but it's also just a great way to relax and treat yourself for an afternoon. With summer in full swing, a lot of us are going to be looking for interesting, creative ways to entertain our friends and family. And after tasting some of these delicious goodies today, I'd say a themed high tea should be top of your list of things to do.